previously on Joffy. If you don't have money, you can't have coffee. Joffy proverb. <laughs> we learn that with a little over eight and a half gallons, you can make one latte a day for a year. So 10.3 pounds plus 8.5 gallons equals 365 three shot lattes. If we subtract our total at home latte from the Starbucks latte, you could save $1,829.20. Today we are going to read our science with Dr. Latte. Let's begin with a high level of understanding of how things work on the inside of the mocha pot. As the water is heated, steam is created and pressure builds up above the water. This pressure then pushes the water into the tube, up through the espresso plug, and out of the top spout and into the kettle. During Dr. Latte's research, she found that there are some key parameters to consider when extracting the espresso. We're looking at a scientific paper today and comparing two methods to see how we can make the best Best mocha pot cup of espresso ever. According to King's paper, The Physics of a Stove Top Espresso Machine, if the water temperature during extraction is above 95C, then the water will taste burnt. If the water is too low, then not all of the amazing flavors can be extracted from the espresso. So we decided to put this paper to the test. In this paper, the ideal temperature is 93C when the espresso is exiting the spout. So we've activated the thermometer and right now it's reading the room temperature um, at around 25.5C. So I'm going to go ahead and place it in the water here. It's kind of hard to see that there's water there, but it is there. And the water is about, let's let it stabilize, reach somewhat of a steady state here. It's going down 8.7, 8.6. 8.7, perfect. 8.7 C. So now we're looking at the temperature coming into the mocha pot and it's coming in at about 87, 88, oh, there it goes, 89.7 uh, degrees, so shy of 90. Okay, so we're gonna let this batch cool down. Here you can see here it started getting a little too hot just as I was trying to measure the temperature. We're gonna let it cool down and we're gonna try the method proposed as the, the best method for getting the temperature of the espresso coming out of the spout at about 93 C. It suggested that the water temperature in the base here should be around 70 C. So we're gonna look at the difference. I'm gonna go ahead and taste this even though I probably left it on a little bit too long. You if you like the content and information we have provided up to this point, please like and subscribe. Please leave a comment about your favorite things so far and we'll respond as soon as possible. Also, for those of you that are a Brave browser user and you like our content, please leave us a tip. So we have it uh, just shy of 70. It was, it was at 70. Something to note is 70C is really hot. And so I actually ended up using a mitten to hold the base because it, it was pretty warm. Coffee has begin to, begun to exit. We're looking at... Three. have here the first batch with the starting water temperature just straight from the cooler and then I have here the second batch in which we put about 70 C degree water in the base and then brewed. I did find it was difficult to hold the, the <laughs> digital thermometer and uh, remove it from the heat quickly enough so I think the first batch got a little warm it, it does taste a little burnt. Um, I can definitely tell a difference in the flavors. Uh, the the one where we started with the temperature at 70 C tastes much better, but I was able to pull that off more quickly than the first batch. Um, so one of the things I feel like that's important here is really monitoring the espresso coming out of the spout and making sure you're able to pull it off the heat 
when it reaches about three fourths full, and then probably what would be best is pouring it into your cup right away. So that way it doesn't continue to transfer heat from the base into the coffee. Because you want to keep that temperature lower so that way it doesn't start to burn the coffee.